Rum God, Rum God, Rum God, Rum God. Open your eyes so I can see. Got you all in the chat. Rum God, Sun God, Upper Rod 2. I'm not protected. I'm gonna claim this plan. Rum God, One God Nation. Peace be still. Peace to the God. It's most definitely. You feel me? Two prophet DC, Rum God, Rum God, One God Nation, Sun God. Spirit scary with the good. Hear your son, you spirit heart about from the mic. Then you find the power. Then you shout out to my kings and queens, all my gods and goddesses out here. You're now in tune with your high self, J Bo Mana, and the drill got one and only. Chosen one. Spirit scary with the good, most definitely. No weapon form against me will prosper. You're going against me, you're going against yourself, and the universe will make you suffer. For you're going against yourself, because I am your high self. Peace be still. I love myself. In this video right here, I'm basically breaking it down to you like this. Throughout these years, from 2019 all the way up to where we at, 2022, going to 2023, I've been traveling, like, I sacrificed everything on my spiritual journey. I let everything go, and I just decided that I'm about to just start traveling and start connecting with the earth, connecting with the universe and going different places and getting different light codes and information. And the one thing I realized throughout my whole journey is that the most important thing in life is all about the average culture. It's all about the, the average culture. That's what it's all about, you feel me? It's really not, it's really not about really, I mean, getting closer to the sun is like a big, important factor that you must un that you must get to but after you do that what's next you feel me you did everything you supposed to do you know you isolate yourself for 30 to 90 days you get close to the sun you feel me you sacrifice everything you let go of everything to follow god's purpose you got the jesus christ consciousness what's the next thing for you to do once you got all the information what's the next thing the next thing is sustainable. What's sustainable? You feel me? You can, you God. You, you got seeds in you. You got the life force in you to create life to, you know, you can reproduce, you can reproduce life. You got the seeds, you got the light codes, you got the source power within you. But what's the next thing after you accomplish everything else? The next thing is, what's sustainable? Outside of a woman designed to sustain life and a man designed to reproduce life, what's the next thing that is sustainable outside of a woman? Because I know a man needs a woman and a woman needs a man, but we in crazy time where we living in a, a Babylon system where the woman don't need you because she can make money just like you. So you don't need a woman that want to work. So I tell people all the time, don't get a woman that want to work because if you trying to talk to a woman that wants to work, it's not going to work out. Like she's not going to listen to you. You know, it's it's you basically it, you be, it like if you're dealing with a woman that want to work and y'all both not having the same ideas and shit, you basically talking to a man. Like what? Well, like like I'm a man. I post to work. Why do I need a woman that want to work? Well, you don't trust me? If women be like, oh, no, I got to work. I just can't be sitting around. I just got to work. I got to have, no, no, no. You don't trust me. You don't need a man. That's what it is. You don't trust me. That's why you want to work. So I start studying. Like, I buy the spirit of a man and a woman because I tapped in with my divine feminine and my divine masculine. And I've been traveling around the world. And I've just been analyzing, like, all the women I've been talking to, even though women that I be me and that spiritual so called they say they spiritual so called say they goddess that shit don't mean nothing because if you're not showing me that you 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 who the fuck you say you are then it's false it's false to prove it and um it's, it's false evidence to be proven that you that it's accurate you feel me so like I'm saying like it's Nature, agriculture, living in places that they got good, they got good rich soil, they got good soil to plant seeds in, to sustain um, vegetables, fruits and stuff. It's all about the agriculture. 
And the one thing I realized about living in Phoenix, Arizona, no different than Egypt, our ancestors left because the world got damaged by the invasion, by the Big Bang Theory. And the soil you has, I mean, I understand it's the desert. We came from the desert. I understand that shit though, but it's like the soil you got fucked up over a period of time. That's why our ancestors had to leave because our ancestors was dying, living, you know, it, like living in Egypt like that. That's why a lot of ancestors left. You feel me? And they moved to a place that got good. They got good soil and agriculture. So right now I'm at the point that I'm gonna transition next year to like down south and shit like that. I mean. I, I was living in Atlanta, Georgia before, but I got caught up in my lower self because I started looking at it like um, my people was lost, people, but my people wasn't really lost. You feel me? They was where they supposed to be at. The agriculture, you know? Because you got to look at it like this. If you're somewhere that don't got good soil, you don't got good agriculture, it's basically cannibalism. That's basically what it is. Because if you somewhere that don't got good agriculture, they don't got good soil, if the system falls, it's it's basically like cannibalism. So when all the food runs out and you live in a place that got bad agriculture, that don't got no good agriculture, and then all the food runs out when the system falls, what you gonna eat? Like what what what's here for you to eat? If you can't go somewhere and buy food, what's here for you to eat? It's nothing here for you to eat. So you basically would just starve to death. And then people that's big on eating meat, they whole, they whole mind is programmed to eat meat. What's the next thing on the food chain? Human, human flesh. Because if you program to eat fast food all the time and you're not programmed to eat fruits and vegetables and you're not a plant-based species and you're just a meat eater, if there's no more meat, and like, what's the next thing on the food chain to eat? Human. Human. You feel me? Because there's nothing else for you to eat outside of you going to the grocery store. Because it's, it's no good agriculture here. You know, so when you see stuff like that, I be trying to tell people, man, like, you know, you gotta prepare for the worst, man. Like, you know, like, when you see shit like that going on, man, you just gotta, you gotta make sure you move to places that got good soil and good agriculture. Places that got a lot of green at, you feel me? So you can survive. And that's one thing I realized, man. Like, a lot of Western places like that, man, a lot of the desert places, it's not a lot of green like that, you feel me? And you see a lot of green in places like low sea level. Like I said, man, you came from the water, your body's made up majority of water so if you if if it floods happen and you go under under water you're not even going through death you're going to wait if you got the knowledge and you got the information the light goes to be you you're going to be with it you're going to be somewhere where you're supposed to be at basically anyway oh peace and love uh, spiritual day we need to build peace to God's I love myself